Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Cardinia Moon. We are here to do your weekend reading, week ending the 23rd of June 2019. This will be for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you feel it doesn't resonate or you require any additional clarification, please don't forget to check out your Moon, Rising and Venus signs. My new helper. To my continued subbies, mwah, thank you for being here. You know how much I appreciate it. To my new subbies, hi, welcome. Thank you for joining the club. And if you are new here and you've never seen me before, please feel free to hit that subscribe button before you go because hopefully you will like what you see. Okay, as with all general readings, my darlings, please bear in mind that cards are transgender and energies can go one way or the other. Would you like to sit in the middle? Okay, look, let's see. Is it there? All right, that works, that works. Yeah, there's a good boy. And just keep, he's been aggravating Theo, who those of you that are regulars will know who Theo is. He's there. So I'm just keeping them separate for a little bit. You're very helpful, aren't you? Yeah, just for a little bit. And then he'll go down in a sec. The schools have got a lot on their minds or something at the moment. They'll be a little concerned about something because the cards jump in not in a very um right in an anxiety way, in an anxious way, in a overthinking way. Still too many. Scorpio, there is something definitely going on with you which is causing you concern. Yeah, <clears throat> so much so you've retracted back into yourself. I see. Teenagers pulling apart. Sit. Yeah, so we've retracted back into us. I mean, some of you could be dealing with Virgo, but I feel you have retracted back in within yourself. Something has, has sort of had you retracted, retracting back into a shell, so to speak, Scorps. Trying to find some answers somewhere. I feel you. some of you may have even actually asked someone about it. Very interesting. You're quite happy being on your own at the moment. Like... And, Thinking about the part, hang on, what, what are we doing here, Scorps? So you've attracted back in yourself to try and work something out. And you're quite happy there. You're, you're definitely dealing with some sort of emotional thing, okay? Because something that has come up from your past or from your childhood or something like that. But it's, it's, it's not a bad memory. It's quite a happy memory. But for some reason, this has got you having, has got you retracting within to yourself at the moment. Which is quite interesting. I feel normally when you, when something like this happens, when um, um, we catch sight of a memory that we may have forgotten or something like that, something that um, that did bring us joy, or it may have even brought us sadness. But when when we catch a memory and we start going over it again, it comes to the forefront again, and we go over it. Um, if we if we retract while we do this, it's normally because we're about to have a huge epiphany. So it's very possible this week. Um, some okay i've got it my darling some huge epiphany might be coming your way someone making a move towards you again we've got virgo here and i've got um <clears throat> i've got the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is about movement it's about action this is about movement within um the physicalities of life your everyday living okay so again but the star signs it represents you can fall off your tit stay there the star signs it represents is uh, Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus. So like I said, some of you could be dealing with some sort of earth energy. Obviously, there's water energy here as well. And your water energies are Pisces, um, Cancer and Scorpio. Can I get back on the edge of tip? Stick back. Definitely got someone trying to scoop someone up here. I mean, this card is about... This card's a bit of a misery card. It's the Four of Pentacles. And it is about... Um, you know, watching what's yours, hanging on tight to what's yours, not really giving anything away, you are kind of being a bit stingy. But I feel with this movement that's coming towards you, this um, 
or this action you're taking. It's more about um, <clears throat> don't aggravate him. It's sorry. It's more about um, I don't feel it is someone moving towards you. I feel that this this past thing that you've learned, okay, this past this past memory that's come up that was a happy memory that has got you attracted within yourself. I feel it's more about you taking some sort of action with your finances or your job or something along those lines. Some of it, taking some sort of action, watching where, where you've invested. Like maybe if, um, for example, you've got cable telly or something like that, you know, and they've been charging you 60 quid, $60 a month, something along those lines. You're now looking, thinking, well, hang on a minute, why am I paying 60 quid a month to them when I've got... Um, you know, I know there's another deal where I can only pay 40 quid a month and yet I still get all the same benefits and all the same. It's, it's like you're, you're tweaking things within your finances, watching where your pennies are going. But you're working it out by yourself. But it's all been triggered off by this, by this memory, this happy memory from your childhood. But you've decided to deal with it all by yourself. It's very interesting. Go play with Barley now. Go on. Barley, go play in the garden. Go on. Go play in the garden, boys. Good boys. Mm. I'm curious. Very, very curious. Again, though, like I said, some of you may be dealing with a, a Virgo or an Earth sign. Whatever it is you decide to do, though, with your finances, by you tweaking and watching where, exactly where the pennies are going, this ends up moving you forward in a very, very positive way. Oh, no, we've got a message of love at the bottom of the deck. I feel someone's watching you. I feel someone is watching you to see how you deal with some sort of situation. I feel maybe this message, this yeah. message of love, and I do feel it's a message of love. Sometimes this is an apology, but I feel more this is a message of love. And it may not be um, a new romantic partner or a rom romantic partner. It may be a family member. Adi! Um, maybe a family member. And that, that they're the ones that triggered off this, this childhood memory that has got you working everything out by yourself. You've gone right in to sort this out and work this out. What have I told you? It's fucking mad out here. I do apologise. And yeah, and it's got you working it out. And like I said, you're doing something, you're finding it. You're checking exactly where every penny's going at the moment. And if you're seeing a place where you can save money, you are. You definitely are. And it, and it becomes really productive for you. Really, really productive for you. Give me one more for our sculpts, please. This is why you're freaking out, though, over your finances, because let it go with cards again. All I'm seeing is, is coin cards, though. It's definitely money or work. And, uh, and like I said, the actual physicalities of your life that are driving you nuts at the moment. I think it's almost like you can't catch a break. It's... Um, you know, like you have your day planned out for you and you're like, right, I need to do this at such and such time, that, 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 that. And then what's happening is there's these spanners being thrown into the works and everything's grinding to a halt. And it's like, oh, OK, I'll do all this now. OK, and you're, you're kind of tracing your towel, if you know what I mean, this week. I feel that's what's definitely been going on for you and that's what's going on this week. Yeah, no time for fun. It's all work this week. Got the three of cups in reverse, which is about celebrations, getting together, things like that. There may be um, a delay in a get together as well. There'll be some sort of delay in a get together. But you're definitely reevaluating re your finances. That does work out well for you. Definitely works out well for you. Look, abundance, ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck.
Yeah, some delay or cancellation in a get together, family get together, friends and fam friends and friends get together, something like that. Bit of a delay in there, and maybe you d it is that you decide not to go. Now you've worked out your finances and where and where you're at, and you're you're working out where you can save money. Because I feel you feel you've just been given money away willy nilly, which is so easily done. I mean, once a year I try and check all my direct debits and see if I'm in credit with any of them. And, see, and if I am, I'm like, right, lower the monthly then, because they won't come to you and offer. So I feel that's where you're at at the moment. You're kind of summer cleaning your finances. But it's all to do with this, this news, or, news or message or memory that comes in from a loved one. And it it's, triggers off a happy memory from the past. Like I said, it may have come from a Virgo, but I feel it's you retracting from the world a little bit, especially when now I've got this at the end as well. And and dealing with what needs to be dealt with. And but in doing so, it progressively moves you forward in the right direction and brings you complete abundance and all the best things in, in everyday to day living as well. Very interesting, Scorps. Very, very interesting. Busy week. Sounds like a bit of a brain ache, all that maths, doesn't it? But hmm, interesting. All right, my darlings, I am going to leave that with you. I will be back with you very, very soon. Until then, you just take care, behave, and I'll see you soon. Bye.